Hello dear students, uh, today I will be discussing on the topic English Press in India, its contributions to the Indian freedom struggle. First, the types of print journalism. There were three types of journalism in India during uh, colonial India. First is Anglo-Indian. The Anglo-Indian newspapers were those newspapers that were started by the Britishers in India. The earliest newspapers like Bengal Gazette, Indian Gazette, Kolkata Chronicle, etc. were a few examples of Anglo-Indian newspapers. The earliest history of newspapers in India revealed that the newspapers started by Englishmen in India were mainly for the communication needs of people from Britain settled in the British provinces in India for commercial, administrative, military and trade purposes. These newspapers weren't started for any indigenous need. They emerged from petty social and political dissatisfactions of the Britishers settled in Calcutta, Bombay, Madras and other British provinces. Starting from Hickey's Gazette, there were plenty of social and commercial English newspapers started either by former employees of the company or by English businessman. Next is Indo Anglian. The Indo Anglian newspapers were newspapers in the English language but they were published and edited by native Indians. There were several Indo Anglian newspapers in India that were started by the educated Indians. One of the earliest Indians to start an Indo Anglian newspaper was Rajaram Mohan Roy when he published Brahmanical magazine for a brief period. In fact, all the famous and popular freedom fighters of the time had English newspapers. The leaders of the Indian independence movement such as M.K. Gandhi ji, Motila Nehru, Madan Mohan Malviya, Jawaharlal Nehru and Balgan Gadar Tilak had their English newspapers to spread their nationalist ideas that helped in the freedom struggle. The services of Kasturi Ranga, Ayengar, J. Subramaniam Iyer, and others in the Madras Presidency were this started the Hindu in 1878 and those of the Ghost Brothers who started the Amrita Bazar Patrika first in Bengali and then in English in 1868 were prominent examples of Indo Anglian newspaper in the history of the press in India. The third type of Newspaper that were found in colonial India was Indian language. The history of the Indian language press started with the Samasar Darpan and Dik Darshan, which was started in 1818 by the Serampur missionaries. The Indian language newspapers started by native Indians have a tremendous impact on the freedom struggle in the later years. The Raja Ram Mohan Roy, who had started Sambad Kaumadi, was one of the earliest Indian to start a language newspaper in India, which set an example for other fellow Indians for social and political awakening and political resistance. By the middle of the 19th century, there were newspapers in India, Indian languages all over the country. Now some of the prominent Anglo-Indian newspapers and Indo-Anglian newspapers. First, Anglo-Indian newspapers. Times of India started in 1861 was a result of amalgamation between the Bombay Times, the Courier, the Standard and the Telegraph. Pioneer started in 1861 was published from Allahabad. Civil and Military Gadget started from Lahore in 1861. Madras Mail 1861. Statesman 1875 and Friend of India. Now uh, into England newspapers. Hindu Patriot which was started in 1853 was a weekly English newspaper under the proprietorship of Madhusudan Roy in conjunction with Girish Chandra Ghosh as managing editor. Haran Chandra Mukherjee became a new proprietor in June 1855 and his younger brother Harish Chandra Mukherjee became its editor. Hindu Patriot had made a huge contribution to various social and political issues in India particularly in Bengal. Hindu patriot under Harish Chandra played a vital role against the tyranny of the indigo planters, particularly during the post-Sipai revolt period. 
regular editorials against such tyranny on the poor, poor helpless indigoriats attracted public attention and evoked universal condemnation from a large cross-section of educated Indians. Other principal social issues highlighted by the Patriot in its columns were female education and Hindu widow remarriage. Indian Mirror started in 1861 by Monmon Ghosh, published every uh, fortnight with financial assistance from Devendranath Tagore. Now differences between English and vernacular press. English dailies had less penetration in the rural areas as they were mostly concentrated in cities and towns, whereas language dailies have more penetration in the rural areas and they were circulated in all the corners of the country. Number two, uh, English papers catered mainly to the well-educated middle class, upper middle class and higher income groups. Language papers were read by lower middle class and poor literates. Number three, more money is generated from advertisements in English papers as they circulated among people with better purchasing power. Language papers did not get the same amount of revenue from advertisements as its readers belong to lower income groups with low purchasing power as compared to their counterparts. Number four, English papers followed the British traditions while the language papers have evolved their own style and methods of operation. English Press and its Contributions The English press in colonial India was initiated with the start of the Bengal Gazette by James Augustus Siki in 1780. The floodgates for the press were opened in India with Hickey's Gazette as numerous print publications were started from there on. Although the earliest English print publications in India had their own interest behind them, but they did contributed a lot in various ways for Indian interests too. Particularly, their contributions was acknowledged in the process of freedom struggle, either by expanding their cause beyond the Indian territories or by knocking the door of the ruthless British government in India. Their contributions can be understood with the help of the following points. Number 1. Exempted from many government regulations. The English publications were exempted from several regulations imposed by the colonial government. For instance, the Vernacular Press Act of 1878 was imposed on the language press only. As a result, Amrita Bazar Pratikra was overnight changed to English from Bengali to avoid future prosecutions. Number 2. Medium of descent between Indians and British government. Due to the use of the language, they became a medium of communication between the people and the government as the Indians vented their displeasures and dissents over the English newspapers. The efforts of communicating dissents were hugely successful as this publication put across the majority views to the British authority at the highest level. The English press that owned by the Indian freedom fighters used it as a medium to address and criticize the issues pertaining to the Indians. Number three disseminated the issues to sympathetic British population. The English newspapers have been able to communicate their issues to the British population at home and in India to garner support for the independence of India. Consequently, the sympathetic opinions of the British population helped in changing various policy decisions for Indians in India. Thank you.